More breaking news tonight for you, though. Convicted businessman Timothy Durham is getting some relief from a federal court. His prison sentence could be reduced. Call 6 investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us now with details on this story. Rafael. In fact, Todd, we have new details at 6. Just got off the phone with the U.S. Attorney's Office. Acting U.S. Attorney Josh Minkler tells RTV6, we respect the court's opinion. Mr. Durham will be resentenced, but he, we will continue to advocate for a sentence proportional to the massive fraud for which he was convicted. The office goes on to say that the sentence will be determined by a federal judge, Jane Magnus Stinson, in the near future, and that their position will be that this will have a negligible effect on that final sentence. Now today, Timothy Durham is still facing 50 years in prison convicted of wire and securities fraud. Durham challenged his sentence to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, and today those judges spoke in 31 pages. The appeals court has dismissed two of the wire fraud convictions but let eight other counts stand. Durham and two associates were accused of ripping off more than 5,000 people in Ohio out of $200 million. Durham is now entitled to return to Indianapolis and get a new sentencing hearing which could produce less jail time. In the review of the case, the appeals court ruled that the government introduced no evidence from a jury reasonably that can conclude that these particular wire transfers were made in furtherance of the fraudulent scheme. Durham's other business partners, Rick Snow and James Cochran, also appealed their sentences, Todd, but those convictions, they will stand as is. Now, this remains also a very tragic situation for all of those families that lost all of that money. A bankruptcy trustee was only able to recover $5.6 million in assets. Reporting live, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.